Good morning and welcome to a rather spectacular location. We're on the Caledonian Canal. Just look at it. So where I am, we've got Lag and Lock just there. We've got the floating eagle in barge, which is the only one along the entire stretch of the canal. And we've got absolutely beautiful journey ahead of us. We're really heading off towards Fort Augustus and eventually towards Inverness and of course over all the locks in between including the mighty Loch Ness. So it's around about 7.45am you can see the cloud and the mist. It's absolutely freezing, it's, well it's 2 degrees currently, I've just checked. I've got Alice with me, there she goes. What we're going to be doing, we'll be filming little sections of the journey over the course of the week and cobbling and get together a couple of videos. Hopefully, you'll you'll join us on this adventure and explore it with us and see the beauty which is this entire stretch of the Caledonian Canal. So, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So we just departed the boat base and we're waiting for Lag and Lock to empty. So we've got me and Chloe sat here. Joanne's gone ahead just to have a chat with the lock keepers, check everything's all right. So let the journey begin. This stretch of the canal is known as the Avenue, so we've just left um, Lag and Lock behind. Now we're going to go under a swing bridge, but they're going to swing it, so we won't actually go under it. And then that'll be the A82, and then we're going to go over Lock Oink.
just uh, moored up the boat down there for a little while um, after doing uh, about four kilometres on Loch Oik. Had a cup of tea and we're just coming around here to have a look at this beautiful castle, Invergary Castle. We've had a lovely little trip to um, Invergary Castle and Invergary on Loch Oik and now we'll bid it farewell. So we've got the swing bridge coming, closely followed by Clocky Lock, and then back onto a canal section. Caldi um, swing bridge out of the way. Kalucky Lock is ahead of us. And we've got a gorgeous little weir. Gorgeous. Just to the left of us.
So we just stopped off for some lunch. So we're at Kai Trolock, which is just out of sight up there. And we stood on one of the weirs. Alvis is enjoying it. Uh, it looks like it's been in use. I'm not surprised with all the rain. So over this side, we've got the River Oik which is flowing from left to right. So the next destination for the river and ourselves after Kytra Lock would be Fort Augustus. There goes Alice having a look. We've negotiated Kytra Lock and now we're on the stretch of the canal between the lock itself and off towards Fort Augustus and we're going to be staying for the night at the top of the Fort Augustus flight and then carrying on through the locks tomorrow morning. So just a short distance around this corner and we'll be arriving in Fort Augustus. Beautiful place, beautiful idyllic location.